Hey everybody, Jody Spiegelhoff from Spiegel Mom Scraps and also from ClickKits.com. Here today with a tutorial today about how to get the most out of your scrapbooking mail order kits uh, by using your die cuts, printables, and also doing some embossing. Really get you the most out of your kit um, and a lot of bang for your buck by using those supplies. But first, uh, this is a look at my prize that I have sponsored today for the YouTube Hop. I've got four packages of my Spiegel Mom Scraps sequins. There's about 650 sequins in each pack. Each one of my packs retails for $4. I've got about 50 4 inch doilies. Some super cute chevron bags. These are just so fun to add to layouts and pocket pages. We've got some really adorable clothespins and some must-have Studio Calico wood veneers. If you don't have these, you simply must get them. And a couple different varieties and then also some really cute, just really versatile shipping tags. So this is a look at my prize that I'm sponsoring today for the YouTube Hop. And without further ado, you guys really need to know that Scrap and Madge put this all together. She did a fantastic job. She organized everything, got us all together, brought us all together for this incredible hop. So the lineup today is you're going to be, uh, you've probably already visited Scrap and Madge, Crazy About Cricket, DJ's Sundries, Scrap and Abby, Angela Holt Designs, and then you'll have me, Jody Spiegelhoff from Spiegel Mom Scraps and from Click Kits. And then next you're going to be heading over to Flowers and More by Rhonda. And then the awesome Tammy Smith. And then even more by Crafton and Stampin'. And then Angelique Gibson rounds off the YouTube hop today. So really a fantastic lineup of uh, sponsors and of uh, designers all around. So one more thing is our color palette today. Scrap and Madge gave us this color palette and it r ranges from orange right into soft pinks to brighter pink to aqua it's the, the color palette's amazing and but when i saw the color palette i immediately was like well, spot on i got that all covered in my click kit so today i'm working with my may click kit it's called field trip as you can see all the colors are in here it's just a fantastic fantastic kit uh, we use the As You Whisk Wish collection from Fancy Pants and put it all together. So most of the papers are Fancy Pants. Actually, all of them are all Fancy Pants. And then we added in um, their cards, uh, a bunch of other awesome embellishments. We have their um, little die cuts here, little cards, some punched uh, planes and anchors. Those are from Click Kits. And then Lacey Gasper is our designer and she designs all of our printables for us and all of our cut elements so you can see you can print these out on just cardstock I actually chose to print mine on photo paper this time and they really turned out gorgeous the color was a little bit brighter a little bit more of a shine to them just really really cool so I'll be showing you how to get the most out of those and then uh, oh I cannot forget the flare Lacey designs and makes all of our flare also and you'll see the back of those is really, really smooth. It's not sunken down like a lot of the flare that I get is, which really annoys me. It's a nice, flat, smooth back. So, pretty awesome. So, we love her. She's awesome. So, moving on, I'll show you guys what I did for my layout today. I pulled some of the papers together, cut some of them up ahead of time for you to save some time. All right. So, another thing that I loved about my click kit, and this way so you guys can see a little bit better, is as soon as I saw what I had to work with and the embellishments, I automatically knew the page that I was going to make. I recently got a vintage typewriter just to kind of play around with, have some fun with with my girls. They love to use it. So I ended up making, um, or they ended up typing their stories out on it. So it's been really fun to go through and watch them create with it. It's just been awesome. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be using my little Tell Your Story typewriter, and it works out perfectly with the pictures that I took. I chose to put them in black and white. I think it's just a prettier picture, especially with some bright colors that we'll be using today. So I'll show you how to put this together. The first thing I do when I'm putting my layout together is I really just choose my background paper, and I base that usually on the color in my pictures. But with black and white, you can really just kind of free yourself of that a little bit. I'm just going to kind of put my pictures where I want them. I know I want them along this right side over here. 
And another cool thing is this kit comes with a full 12 by 12 sheet of gold paper. And this paper is also from Fancy Pants. It's not a gold card sack like this. It's this gold, shiny, metallic paper. So what I did is, I think Lacey actually did this a couple weeks ago, but she ran it through her embosser with her Amy Tangerine embossing folder, which is available at clickkits.com. And look how cool that looks. You can see the cameras, they stand out, you can see them shine. It is such, such a cool effect. So I decided to do that, thanks for uh, my inspiration from Lacey. And I kind of built my layout around it. So the next thing I did is I also wanted to save some of this paper, right? Because the gold paper is pretty cool. So instead of using a full 4x6 sheet here, I cut it out. So I just cut out the middle of it so I would have that middle part to use on another part of my layout. And one more thing. Let's see here. All right. I also kind of went stash dive in here. And I ended up finding these cardstock elements, cardstock stickers. I'm 95% sure they're Dear Lizzie from a season ago, but you know, use your stash too. You're going to find stuff on your stash that's going to be able to work with your kits, no matter what kit club you're working with. So make sure you guys do a little stash dive, dive in and find stuff out of your stash for that. Next, I cut up some of the paper. This was a full sheet of this. I ended up cutting the arrows out of it. Kind of a really cool effect with the chevrons in there. I kind of wanted a shadow effect here, so what I did was I cut two of them out. I'm just going to layer them. Kind of gives a really, really cool shadow effect. A little bit more depth in your layout, too. Let's see. I want this little guy here. And then this kit also comes with some really cool bags. could easily put shipping tags in there, fold over some goodies, keep some goodies in there. I'm just going to kind of use it for some layering. See how quickly these layouts come together? This is just so much fun. That's the awesome thing about clip kits. This is another part of the kit, this little die cut here. I love to use arrows to point at things, to point at words, point at pictures. Um, it really provides and, you know, helps with movement in your layout and kind of helps your eye to move around the layout so you can actually see everything that's going on in there. All right. So another thing that I like to do to get the most out of my die cuts and of my printables is to use paper punches with them. So the nice thing about these with clip kits, they coordinate perfectly with a lot of the standard punches. I use my Creative Memories punch to punch this out. So it works perfectly to punch these little guys out. And another thing that you're going to want to take note of is, you know, a lot of printables come with shapes, specific shapes like these are, you know, basically cut apart hexagons with different words on them. Um, and then these little guys here, out and about, wander. I actually cut the yes out of the middle of the hexagon. I didn't really want a hexagon. Well, it's kind of like in the circle thing going on here, so I just punched it out using my Creative Memories punch right out of the middle of the hexagon, and I got myself a cute little yes circle. So I think I like him here. I'm going to put that there. And I have to use my awesome, super cute flare that Lacey designed for us. And one fun thing to do is to stagger your embellishments a little bit and then cluster them together. Leave some flat, pop some up with some foam adhesive that really adds a lot of fun interest to your layouts. Okay, I think I'm liking how that looks. So I'll move that there. Alright you guys, it's coming together. Alright. Now I'm going to use what I cut out from here and I'm going to put this guy down here. This needs just a little bit more gold and I want to pop up this gold. And I'm also going to use the cameras to kind of frame out my picture. I want those cameras to show. I think that's upside down. So I'll put that little guy here. Alright. And then another fun thing that I like to do is I like to punch out my shapes 
So these are also from the printables. It's going to go right in there. Just use my Fiskars Cloud Punch. Um, punch out your printables and make some more fun elements. And then I went ahead and I ran it through the embosser. I just used my little dot embossing folder. I'm not sure if that little guy is Sizzix or Cuddlebug or what it is, but I cut out some more. And it just adds a really, really fun element and a great way to use up your kit, too. And I just cannot get enough gold lately. I don't know about you guys, but I'm loving how gold pops on layout. Especially these colors are so rich and just so amazing. A little gold really goes a long way. All right. Well, I think that I have just about completed a layout already. I think I like this down here. See how fast you can scrapbook? It doesn't have to take an hour for you to put a page together. It doesn't have to take you, you know, two days to put a page together. Just start playing with your supplies. Just cut some things up. Sometimes you're going to get paper that's, you know, maybe too bold for your taste or you're just not quite into, you know, the floral or whatever. Cut it up. Cut it in smaller pieces. Punch shapes out of it. You're going to get some really cool really, really cool effects when you, you know, punch maybe a cloud out of, you know, out of a floral shape or even some newsprint like this, which is really cool. Which actually, I'm going to add on here. Oh, how fun. That part says romantic. Okay. All right, my scrappy friends. I think I'm pretty much done here. So it really didn't take very long at all to pull the layout together. I even used some things from my stash, which we should all be doing because we all know we're paper and sticker hoarders and whatnot. So do some stash job and you're going to find stuff that coordinates with your kits. I can guarantee it. I sure as heck do. Well, I think that's going to be about it for my tutorial today. Hope you enjoy or enjoying the YouTube hop that we put together for you guys and I hope you enjoy my layout. Uh, feel free to check out uh, my personal blog. It's www.spiegelmomscraps.com. And, of course, the fabulous kit club that, I, that I'm uh, collaborating with three other awesome scrappers. And those are our designer, Lacey Gasper, Gia Lau, and, of course, Erica Rose Creates. So there is pretty much my finished project for today. And next, you're going to be heading over to Flowers and More by Rhonda. So go leave all these ladies some love, and uh, we'd also love for you to follow our um, YouTube channels, so don't forget to subscribe to us before you hop on, and also check out our scrapbooking blogs. We'd love to follow you there, or we'd love for you to follow us there too. All right, well, we'll see you soon, and thanks for hopping today. Bye.